G'day guys, welcome to the channel, The X-Wing, my name is James and today we're doing an episode of Suburban Stations and Trains and today we're at Cannonook Station which is on the Frankston line and it's one stop uh, from Frankston actually so it's basically the last stop before Frankston and the first stop outside Frankston so uh, we're going to have a bit of a look at the station uh, and the trains when they come in and also we'll have a bit of a look at their new um, depot which is just down the road so we'll have a look at that so uh, no further ado guys let's uh, roll the intro <laughs> Cannonook Station, as you could tell by the train it's going past. Uh, this is the uh, bus stop here, and uh, this goes to a number of places in Frankston and Cannonook Station. Um, so yeah, so which is pretty good. And also too, we've got uh, uh, the time uh, board here. I'm not too sure if you guys can actually see that, but. Um, it gives you the times for buses and trains, um, so which is pretty good. Uh, it's a fairly wide area uh, of uh, walking here. This is basically a bike path as well as a um, pedestrian path, as you can tell with the bike riders that's going past. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Okay, we are just on the outside of Cannock Station. That's uh, platform one there. We'll uh, we'll go on the uh, platform and uh, have a bit of a look at the uh, station. And as I said, um, definitely a big area for footpath and everything. We negotiate a long path up, walking uphill, and we go down the other side. Right, we're halfway there. We just uh, we just came from there, and uh, we'll have a walk along here. Uh, that's the uh, freeway along there that runs along the uh, station. This is a lovely view here. It's not bad and the path for to walk uh, bridge uh, goes over the train line as well as the um, over the other side over the freeway and as we make our way down towards the station all right now this is all the ticketing area uh, our great my key card uh, you tap on you tap on basically here as you walk on well, what we'll do is we'll go on because it's a one one big platform so we'll go on platform two now if you're wondering what that uh, other track is that's the uh, track that goes the maintenance yard which goes up there we're going to have a bit of a look at that uh, towards the end of this video 
um, so that's what that track is for and obviously this track here is the uh, line that goes to uh, Frankston all the way down there now this is a bit of an unusual type of station what I can remember of Cannonook station going back about 25 yeah probably 25 years ago or maybe more um, it used to be a smaller station it wasn't like this and uh, the car park down there wasn't well lit up but uh, they've done a lot of improvements on this um, uh, station so which is pretty good and there we go there's a big sign here saying Cannonook <coughs> um, so yeah it's um, as I said different station altogether um, this has all been redone because uh, it used to have a train crossing down there uh, but now they've got their bridge it goes over the main road and uh, that's uh, pretty good it's actually well well lit up here and uh, pretty good and as I said uh, this is just one big platform and this is platform one over here and uh, yeah and there you go that's uh, pretty awesome and we'll have a bit of a walk up here and that's uh, the, the police go into that area the protection services people they go in there um, as I said this is a very different type of station to what it was when I uh, known of the station as I said about 25 years ago so it's a fairly big station altogether but yeah this is uh, pretty awesome it's not much to the station um, it's uh, as I said a lot more different to what we normally custom to okay we've got a train coming in on uh, platform 2 as you can tell so which is pretty good we'll get under under here so we can have a bit of a look goes that train to uh, Frankston and now we've got the city train coming up uh, slightly different type of trains there's different names for these trains
there's a car park there being built that uh, just over there uh, I should imagine that would be for the station because we don't really have a big car park at this station at Cannanook um, that's the main car park over there uh, so it's a very small one here and uh, as I said as time goes on um, yeah there's fewer places so I reckon that uh, car park over there is for that and um, which is pretty pretty good and as I said there's, there's other car parks further down and as we walk away from Cannonook Station we're going to have a quick look at that uh, bridge I was telling you about just up the road and then also we'll have a look at their depot um, and then uh, we'll probably wrap it up from there okay guys um, we're at the, the formal train crossing uh, just past Cannonook uh, as you can tell uh, we've got sky rail uh, this goes right over the main road here um, which got rid of a real bad bottleneck of a road um, because uh, because of the, the street there you've got the road coming down there that road coming up uh, from Frankston the crossover where the train line used to be and you've got uh, the Frankston Dandy Road, the freeway, Sky Road another road just down there and it was it was a real bottleneck of a um, road and crossing but uh, it's a lot more easier now and as I said uh, you got the sky roll and uh, it's a big improvement on uh, stuff here which is quite good had to be careful there because I almost got uh, got knocked over by a flying bike <laughs> but anyway um, but uh, as I said, I thought, yep, yeah, we'll take a bit of VO here, here and um, we'll, um, we'll go and have a look at their depot very shortly. See, we've got a better view of uh, the roads here. So you've got the road coming down here, one there, one across there. The train line or crossing used to go through here. So being the sky rail as it is, uh, it's quite good now. Um, it, uh, it flows traffic. As you can see, the traffic's a little bit more better than what it used to be. Lots of traffic lights here for pedestrians to walk across. As you can tell, it's very quiet. You got the other train coming up, uh, going to Frankston, but we may not be able to see it from here. But yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome. As I uh, promised, I was going to show you the depot. Uh, I didn't know about this, but the road was closed, so I can't get access to it. But what I can do is, once I get around this big puddle here, um, you can have a bit of a look on the outside of it. There is a road that does go along there, but um, yeah, I can't stop anywhere. The car parking area has been taken out. So, um, we'll have a bit of a look. I'll give me a uh, selfie stick up a bit, you can tell. That's the uh, depot there. Uh, that's all brand new there. That's getting all built there at the moment. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. The other reason why I know this area quite well is I, we, I did uh, work here uh, well over a year ago, probably about probably about 15 months ago uh, I did uh, work along this stretch of road that just runs along near the depot 
and uh, so I know the road quite well and we did all we did all the car park there and things like that so um, but uh, yeah overall uh, Canlook Station very different and um, hopefully um, you know once this is all up and running we might we might do a Mark II for the depot maybe we'll see how we, things pan out uh, all right then guys I'm going to move on to uh, my next location and um, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and as I always say uh, if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the X-Wing hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future video content and always press like guys because it really does help the channel a lot and um, yeah we'll uh, catch up with you in the next one Cheers!